right, my friends, my first uh, 23 Tops Transcendent break will be live. Uh, it's probably live by the time you see this. So I'm really excited about it. But I wanted to show you some uh, differences this year. Uh, the main difference is they made more of these. Um, there's 190, I think they said, 190. Um, this says 109 cards per box here. I don't think that's correct. I think it's like 84 cards. But um, let's go through it real quick. So one of the first huge changes is instead of the sets, you know, you sometimes you had a sketch set and then you always had a base set. Instead of the, the, the sets, you're getting 10 packs of four cards. So 10 four-pack cards, basically little chrome packs. Uh, they are promising a super fractor in the packs. And um, there are also autos possible. Um, the, the base cards are like 25, and then you've got your parallels, 10, 5, 1 of 1s. The autos are to 15. You know, they also have the parallels all the way down to 1 of 1. So uh, they didn't say that there was an auto guaranteed in the packs, but they did say you would get a Super Fractor. So that sounds great. We would have to open these just so that you know exactly what you're getting. Um, you know, it just it just covers me more than anything else. Uh, so the 20 transcendent gold framed autographs, that's the typical hit that you would think of with transcendent. Uh, it would look basically like this, only just imagine that's a metal frame instead of whatever this mock-up is. Um, and there, I think they said they're to uh, 25 with parallels to 20, 10, 5, and then of course your, your one of ones um, that we're all used to. Uh, then they've got uh, patch autos. So there's only 20 of those gold framed autos instead of I think 50 most years. So you're going to get 10 transcendent collection autograph patch cards. And they had some examples of patch cards. Um, this is, you know, an extreme example. It's a Logo Man one of one of Aaron Judge. Obviously, they're not all going to be Logo Man, but that is a beautiful card and a really nice example of one of the better hits. So there's going to be 10 patch cards. And they're all, uh, I want to say, to 2015 um, five, one of one, that kind of thing. And then the rookie showcase or patch autos, uh, their example for that was amazing. So let's take a look at that. Uh, this is the Corbin Carroll and that is such a great patch. Holy cow. So I would definitely be really excited to hit that, uh, card for sure. Um, and there's going to be 10 of those. And then you've got the one of one 1959 Super Fractor Auto. And their example for that one's unfortunate. Uh, it looks great. So it's a 2023 set. So Adley, Gunner, you know, uh, Corbin Carroll, those guys are all still rookies in the 2023 set. Now this is a mock-up. Uh, I'm pretty sure the actual card won't say Vladimir. <laughs> on the Orioles, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that that's probably uh, not how it's gonna be, you know. So uh, yeah, um, but it's a great looking card, and I'm sure the actual card uh, doesn't say Blattimore. Um And then you've got a it says one Ichiro or 2023 rookies through the years autograph, which is generally. You know, they take uh, tops and then they uh, give you a different one of one with a different design throughout the years. Um, with there being 190 of these cases this year, they're probably going to double up some on the designs. That doesn't mean they won't be one of ones. Uh, it still says that they're one of ones. So um, let me show you the example for that one. The example is a dual Ichiro and Otani. So you're not guaranteed an Ichiro. You're certainly not guaranteed a duel, but it could be. Like, it could be this actual card, um, and that's awesome. You know, that's an awesome-looking card, so uh, pretty excited about it. Um, yeah, and then you've got the um, the cut signature. So, so the cut signature uh, example that they gave was for the Beatles. They did misspell John Lennon. It's a mock-up, so I'm really hoping that the actual card spells John Lennon correctly. 
you know, it's it's one of those things. Um, but this would be an amazing card if you were to get this card. It would be it would be amazing. There's a bunch of other signers. They didn't give us everybody. Um, you know, sometimes they have some in there that you just don't want. You know, it's just whatever. But um, this one would be pretty awesome. And most of them this year are going to be normal size cards. Now the quad is oversized, but there's duels and single cuts that are normal sized. So uh, I like that better in general. Um, and then you've got the invitation. So let me talk to you about the invitation this year. There are nine invitations that are special. You won't know until you get it, right? Well, you'll once you open it, you'll know. But um, it's called <laughs> the, this. The invitation's a VIP invitation, right? It, it's nice if you've ever been to the party. It, it's amazing. Uh, they generally have a couple players there. Um, they give you a ton of swag. Uh, you can almost always sell the swag for more than what the uh, VIP ticket would have sold for on, like, eBay. Uh, it's definitely worth it to go if you can. You know, if you can go, if you want to sell it, you can sell it, too. Uh, the the VIP tickets generally sell for, like, you know, three thirty five hundred. dollars They've gone for as much as $5,000. they have gone for as little as $2,500. I think it kind of depends on the year and the timing, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, there's more this year, so maybe they'll go for a little bit less. But there's nine VIP VIP. <laughs> so you're a VIP VIP in these nine. And they don't really tell you what is special about them. I don't know. You know, <laughs> if you get a special room, I don't know, the upper room. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, they're better than the regular VIP, like, you know, those scrubs that are just VIPs. You nine are VIP VIPs, which has got to be better swag, better whatever. Those will probably sell for at least twice. You know what I mean? Like, I think I think those tickets would sell for considerably more. You know, it's never it's you know it's fanatics. They're gonna go a little over the top. So yeah, that's what's going on. <laughs> VIP VIP. I hope we get some. Now I I have an opportunity to get some cases. My cases on are on the secondary market, but they're probably still kind of close to what, you know, Fanatics Breakers will get direct. I probably can't get the exact same price, but I have a feeling that they're going to mark theirs up quite a bit. So I still might be cheaper. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I am posting my breaks. I hope you'll join. Um, and, uh, you know, so far as of now, uh, up till now. I have personally opened more Transcendent than any other person alive. That's a fact. Uh, the only person that could challenge that would be Leighton, but he doesn't, you know, he doesn't open everything himself anymore. So, um, which is not a, not a cut on that. I, I would love to do that too. But, <laughs> um, you know, he definitely has opened a ton lately. But early on, you know, I had that title. I'm pretty sure I've got it. If not, I, you know, I share it with Layton or I might be second to Layton now. And uh, with with Fanatics having their own channel, you know, a lot of these cases are going to go to Fanatics Breakers. So, you know, I probably won't hold even, you know, top five for too much longer. But as of right now, I'm the king. So, you know, come join my breaks for as long as I can hold the title, which is probably... Uh, will end this year, I would imagine, you know, so, uh, yeah, come, come join my breaks and, uh, we'll just, uh, we'll just pretend that I, I'm still the king of, uh, transcendent. All right, my friends, thank you very much. And, um, I'll see you in the breaks.